What's more likely? Never say never, but never. All right, Christopher, what do you have over there? I like I like when Del Tufo just repeats what I say to feel involved in the conversation. I, wow. I, I love that. Good job. Good job, Mike. <laughs> All right, you guys good? Happy Friday? Yes, sir. What's more likely? Who's the more likely running back to have more total yards than a touchdown? Is John Robinson or Brees Hall? Nice young rookie showdown, a young player showdown in, in New York. Okay. I'll go be John Robinson. Anything to do with the Jets offense right now is the least likely option. Right. Unless you're saying what's more likely, the good. Jets will score a touchdown before having an absolute back-breaking, soul-sucking Hail Mary happen against them? Please. You're talking to the wrong guy right now. Try, I was just trying to start us off on a kind of a fun, like, hometown. Oh, home very, foot, very fun. You know what I mean? Let's talk Jets offense. What's more likely? Great. Okay. I mean, you're too... I, I can't believe we're, we're now hearing Robert Sala saying, Brees Hall needs to get the hard yards. He's trying to hit a home run every time. You know why he's trying to hit a home run every time? Because <laughs> the rest of the offense, the way it's being coordinated and the way everything is set up, sucks. Yeah, Jets need to clean house, Rich. I mean, you that's need, no, that's you not need, why they have to you clean need, house. You need to own it. They don't need you a clean don't. house. You need to own it. They don't. What else you got over there? Six and five AFC road team more likely to make the playoffs, Colts or Broncos? Mm. Wow, way to put me in a position. I'm calling both of the. These are the. These are the uh, home teams of the next, the final two games. I'm calling. Nice. So does that mean I have to make an opinion here? I'm. I'm. I'm seeing these guys behind a microphone. You're not calling their game today. I mean, I think they both win this weekend. You do? I do. Broncos beat Texans. I'm choosing them on Sunday. Interesting. On game day morning. You might be lone wolfing that. You really think so? Texans, are, Texans are at home. I get it. Good they just o- lost good at o- home. Good offense. I know. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm taking Houston now. Yeah. Let's see. And then Indianapolis is at Cincinnati, home for Pittsburgh. Wow. Both of these teams could go on a little run here. Well, then they. Detroit's got a few before I see them. I mean, uh, Denver's got. Denver's on the road next three games. So just that alone, I'll just go with yeah. the Colts. Colts are only a one point favorite at Tennessee. Kind of uh, weird. What else, Chris? Uh, how about this? Steelers uh, go for 400 yards of offense, two games in a row, or Kyler Murray, three plus total touchdown. Oh, I'll go Steelers. Offense, 400 yards, two games in a row. Um, I'm just I'm just concerned about my fantasy play with Kyler Murray this weekend. Big time. You guys are like, who else you, who, who else you get? Yeah, is Gardner Minshew available? Three total touchdowns for him against this Steeler defense is a very tall order. Um, certainly if they protect him in the same way they did last week against yeah. the Rams. That was rough. Uh, I'll say Steelers, 400 yards of offense again. Although Jonathan Gannon's back in the Keystone State. JG back in PA, man. What else? Oh, he's not paying attention. He just started no, playing the attention. NFL Films music, and he's now checking his bank account. <laughs> like, how's it look? How many zeros? No, well, not, I'm no, not no. part of the conversation now, because Chris said I, yeah, I'm not okay. part. Yeah. Well, whatever. Uh, what else, Chris? Uh, hey, these two teams. Showdown in Foxborough. Who's more likely to be coaching their team next year, Brendan Staley or Bill Belichick? <laughs> I'll go Bill. That's more likely. I will go Bill Belichick. More likely because he is the GOAT. And maybe the Patriots do get the draft choice that they want, and they're like, we'll hand it to Bill. Because we don't want to we don't want to see him go. He's the friggin' GOAT. Then they come up with maybe the construct in the front office you're looking for. That would be nice. In the same way that they came up with a construct at the offensive coordinator position that you were looking for. That's way more likely than the other. What else, Chris? I think I agree with you, actually. Okay. Uh, here we go. Panthers, Bucks. These guys have the same number of touchdowns. You believe that? Who's more likely? Bryce Young throws for a TD. Mike Evans catches a TD. They both have nine on the year. Um, I'll go Mike Evans. I'll go Mike Evans. I, I, this is just a fascinating conversation to be had about the Carolina Panthers. Are they going to go ahead? and find some sort of newfound vigor because they changed coaches. The vigor doesn't get used enough. Well done. Thank you, sir. Is that what's going to happen? Because that happened with no. the Raiders, and maybe it'll happen for Carolina. 
You're hoping it is because you want to see yes, I am you know, hoping. New Let's England go. sneak in there to the top spot. Keep pounding, right? You want the st- you want the, the you want Kyler Murray to have three total touchdowns and then Bryce Young's throwing for two against Tampa. Now we're talking. Well, Justin Herbert comes in and writes his ship. Yeah. That's your result. That's yeah. What's more likely? I need, I need, what's I mean, more I need likely? like four from Herbie. I have him in fantasy. I guess, is that triple play more likely uh, than, uh, um, than <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know. I can't, I could come up with one right now. I don't know. Uh, what's more likely? That triple play happens or um, something wacky. Two, two teams currently outside the top. I was going to say, something wacky happens Two in the teams playoffs, out now. of the top four in the playoffs make it in. Two of them. What's more likely? Here's a this one's on the fly. You can answer this one too, okay. TJ. What's more likely? Bryce Young throws for two touchdowns. Okay. And Kyler Murray scores three, three total. Yeah. And, and Justin Herbert writes the ship. Yep. Which is what you're looking for. Yep. Or two teams currently out of the top four in the college football playoffs make the final four. TJ, you go. I have my answer. Go I, I, I don't feel either of those are going to happen. Oh, but, I, I um, think I think the NFL I, one happens. Maybe the NFL one. Yeah, I don't see likely. two teams outside. That's of the That's more four. likely. Yeah. I see two teams outside of the top four. Really? Yeah. Oregon wins tonight. That's one. And then Alabama or Texas make it, mm. or Ohio State makes it because Florida State loses. There you have it. Mm. Oh, I think that's way more likely than what I just put. Obviously, Herbert right in the ship is the well, just for you, the Rich. Gimme for you. I'm, I'm going to bet that three way just to see what happens. <laughs> uh, well, who's more likely to have more receiving yards on Sunday, Amon Ross St. Brown or any two Saints players combined? Oh, interesting. I'll go two Saints players combined. The the, the Lions defense is concerning me. And uh, Amon Ra, as you know, is one of my favorite receivers. He's also a fantasy receiver that needs to counterbalance. Yours truly going against DK Metcalf last night. Oh, you played against DK last night? But uh, I, <laughs> I, I I, think the Lions, yeah. D, and I know the Saints are down a ton of receivers too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shahid I believe in TJ Jefferson's could be him MT, suggestion AT. of A.T. Perry. I picked up Juwan Johnson if you need a tight end streamer. Okay. That might because Dalton Schultz could be out. All right, a couple more here. Is Game- that right? Well, he hasn't. He didn't, I don't think he's practiced today, so you know yeah. what that means. Uh, game of the day, Sunday. Uh, what's more likely, Brock Pur- Purdy throws for more passing yards or Jalen Hurts has more total yards? <sighs> wow. So Purdy has more passing yards than Hurts has total yards? Yeah, so that's passing and rushing for Hurts. Um, the Eagles secondary, you know, no bueno. Josh Allen, let him up. I noticed you, I noticed you don't go total touchdowns. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'd say Jalen. I'm, I'm going. I'm, I'm going with my boy. <laughs> his, his fourth son, Brock Purdy. Hey, but let's be honest. Go with my boy. Jalen was my boy. Jalen was kind of your kid. I know that. I know when, that. And we just You're going against both my children. We just didn't put that title on him. <laughs> right, like you, 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 he wasn't oh, an on the books by the way, kid, but he was off you know, the books. You, you know. know. Jalen Hurts when he came on this show in the dog. pandemic and he loved called himself him. a dog. You loved him, you loved him before like, that. Well, well I mean, I love this story and how he, yeah. and, and then I got to meet him and talk to him. And well, I'm like, okay. The papers never fully went through, no. but I still consider him money. No. Yeah, pandemic. Might have been the pandemic. A lot of red yeah, tape. A lot of red tape. Yeah, a lot of slow down there. <laughs> but you love him. Is how dare saying. you How dare you pit these two against each other? <laughs> Throw Josh Jobs in here. Now we're fighting. <laughs> Josh Jobs starting this uh, week? He's not. He's on his bye. Uh, I'll take Purdy. Ooh. Yep. All right, last one. Uh, what's more likely to be the higher total? <laughs> okay, we just talked to Chris Fowler. Total touchdowns in the Pac-12 championship or Iowa points? Wow. Mm. Look at you. We're going to Pac-12 championship being on tilt. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I hope the number of Iowa points matches the uniform number of the individual with his finger pointing to the sky on the screen. That would be three for the radio audience. Uh, I think Iowa's going to score double-digit points. You you do? I do. How? Some defensive score or something like that. Ten is double digits. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to keep karma at bay. Can you please? Yeah, Ve- Vegas thinks at least nine touchdowns in the Pac-12. There you go. Tonight, oh yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I like it, yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah, Good know. one. Uh, we'll see. And we'll find out tonight that first part of the equation, and then we'll figure out the rest. Good one. I like that. What's more likely? Yeah. That's fun. 
Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.